tonight looking for something to do that uh, is a little bit unique. Um, try rollerblading. Our family right now is on a rollerblading kick. Uh, it brings me back to my college years. We used to do that all the time, and then it kind of faded away, and uh, I think it's kind of coming back now. Uh, the kids got into my rollerblades, and uh, they, they kept using them, and I'm like, okay, it's time to invest. So $70, uh, we bought both kids a pair of their own blades. Uh, each is a little bit different. Uh, the company is called Roller Derby. The nice thing about this is this button here, uh, you can push it and it actually is adjustable. So it kind of uh, can um, adjust as your child grows. Uh, one thing that we noticed, this version has uh, some pull string laces that come up and over and tuck real easily. Uh, seems like the kids really like that. Uh, this one has the laces, so it takes a little bit more time. So that's just a little bit of um, a tidbit to keep in mind. Let me pass these on over and uh, we'll get the kids laced up and uh, hit it. One of the nice things about this uh, particular brand is you're gonna notice that the kids are able to put on the blades on their own, which is very important to me. When they were borrowing mine, uh, I found myself doing a lot of putting on and taking off, which, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I like to spend my time doing other things. So these uh, seem to be pretty easy. Immediately when the kids put them on, they fell in love with them. Uh, light uh, came to mind, and now actually, as of last night, we gave it to them yesterday, and last night they're in the garage, you know, looping it up, and. Uh, some of them are actually uh, practicing an advanced skill called the crossover turn. So uh, that's pretty sweet. So that, that comes with a little bit of lightness and whatnot. Uh, as always, I recommend uh, wearing a helmet. I think we were so excited last night that uh, we might have kind of forgot to put on our helmets. But um, the boys are suited up. Let's take a, let's take a spin. Being a phys ed teacher, one of the cool units that we do in class is a roller skating unit. Uh, the kids get a three-day lesson. The very first lesson we talk about, besides falling, is how to go forward. And one of the major mistakes that people do is they keep their toes straight and they push and slide. And of course, you don't go anywhere. So if kids find themselves just trying to push and slide, it's not going to happen. So what we do, we talk about penguin waddles which their toes go out a little bit, and if they shift weight back and forth with toes out, inevitably you'll start going. Hey, head this way and show the viewers at home so you can watch. Notice that the toes are out, and then as you just pick them up and put them down, off you go. We call those penguin waddles. Um, start with baby steps and keeping the feet underneath you for balance, and then as confidence grows, as you can tell, you can really start pushing and sliding. Works out great. Let's talk about the trouble position. This is really the first lesson we talk about. We talk about falling being a skill. Um, if you lose balance on blades, you don't want to fall tall. You want to fall small. So what fall, falling small looks like is bringing your nose over your toes and getting low. Many times uh, the skater will regain balance. If they don't, well, they're low to the ground, right? There it is right there. So my friend head on back and coming this way, uh, he's going to demonstrate skating, uh, losing balance. He gets down low. Good. And uh, therefore, um, oftentimes he regains balance. What you don't want to see is kids do, I call it the skate dance, getting up high, waving hands, and then whoop, skates go out from under them and then they go backwards. Uh, as you can see, uh, B got down nice and low and he regained his balance. Um, the only other thing we got to talk about is stopping. Uh, turn and face the house, B. Yes, sir? Yeah, there you go. You can notice that uh, there's a break on the back and that's different than a roller skate. Instead of a toe drag, you'd actually lift your toe and drag the heel. So hopefully with those tips and tricks, you'll be off to uh, watching your kids zooming all around on uh, a line of four wheels. Enjoy.